program is called Management as a Calling, and I wanted to take students outside their regular experience to really discern why are they in business school, why are they in business, why are they here on earth, uh, it really gets that deep. We are here in the woods because there's plenty of research to show that uh, your stress hormones go down when you're in the woods. And one more piece that I think is very important in this program is no cell phones, no computers, disconnected. I'm here to find my purpose. I'm here because I love new experiences. I'm here to find the reason why I get up in the morning 30 years from now. Here to find my calling of my career. I can't tell you your values. You have to examine your own. You're all adults. I can walk in and say, okay, we're going to do a lesson I can't be logic. Is that going to make you ethical people? Is that going to make you whole people? No, it won't. And so what are your values? You need to examine this. You need to understand who you are. There's another quote up here from Socrates. It says, unexamined life is not worth living. And I really believe that. There's a lot of people who just go with the flow, get in line right behind the next sheep in front of them and think they're a leader. It ain't going to work. Who are you? What kind of person do you want to be? They need to understand, you have a certain set of values. Do they fit with the organization that you're part? Some do, some don't. Where don't they fit? What are you going to do about it? How are you going to augment your education to make it what you want it to be? That's what I want you to come out of this year. Pull it all together. What's their story? They're in the middle of it right now. I want them to think about that. So I'm originally from Guaynao, Puerto Rico. And um, after Hurricane Maria struck Puerto Rico in 2017, it kind of lit a fire inside of me. You know, in this retreat, I've learned how to find that balance between like the moral compass and money. I need to have a purpose beyond that of making profit for myself and profit for the firm and by coming to this retreat I can link you know my passion for helping others and helping Puerto Rico to my expertises and ultimately do something that will drive sustainable progress in, in Puerto Rico. I expect this retreat to be like a great start to it but there's still work to be done after this. So making money and having a moral compass is something that I think the business school and business schools broadly maybe don't discuss enough. And I really value this experience for us to be able to have that conversation because I don't believe there's one answer. If I'm not feeling that uh, my values are being honored or aligned, I'm happy to walk away from whatever role regardless of the money I was making. I would say that these retreats are important regardless of where you are in history, but now it feels more important than ever. Okay, when things are not working for me, like, you know, actually make things, like, do the things that you need to do, talk to the people, solve the problems, to find that inner peace. I think the future is, like, some self-sacrifices now for the idea that long-term for family and personally, um, that will hopefully be appreciative that I did make certain sacrifices. I think this retreat it gives you the time and the space to really sit back with your thoughts and then to sit with it, to think about it, and then to share it, to receive reactions, and to share it again. Space and time is not something that you're naturally going to have if you're just kind of going with the flow and the hustle of business school. I think if you connect with maybe three or four or five, that's already a gift. And so I think having that space and time really is the biggest thing that this retreat has given me. The last thing I want to tell students is money doesn't matter. It does. But if that's your goal, you're always going to want more. If we continue to graduate students who just want to make themselves rich, we're doomed. It's that simple. We're doomed. We're going to have more Enrons. We're going to have more award comms. We're going to have more Volkswagen, Dieselgate, cheating scandals, because it's all about money. The business students want purpose in their career. Business is changing, and business students are changing. How do we steer capitalism? adjust it, amend it, fix it to solve the problems we're facing today.